Getting jiggy with them. Getting jiggy with it. Getting jiggy with it. Hello, my name's Matt. I'm out of Largo, Florida. I'm going to show you how to set up a DOA paddle tail, uh, root beer colored with a white quarter ounce jig head. So if uh, you can bring the camera on down here and I can show them. Uh, what I have prefer normally is to get the jig head and the paddle tail, DOA's uh, unfair advantage of course, uh, preferred artificial. What you want to do is get your jig head, push it on through, through your paddle tail, bring it on around, and you got to put a little bit of pressure in there because it's going to be a little hard at first. And that's just how I prefer. Everyone's going to have their own way. Some may say it's not the right way. Some may agree with how I do it. Uh, but you'll find your own way. And as simple as that. So what you're going to want to do is... Boom, boom, boom. Bounce it off the bottom like that. Uh, you go to a beach. Uh, any colors preferred. You can go with the white, pink. We got another pink. Red. I mean, however you want to do it. Uh, you can do brown for the darker musky type water or uh, you can go with a white if the water's clear whatever you prefer but uh, this is what uh, I say to go with you get your line bam, bam, bam. just bounce right off the bottom sand rocks whatever you prefer uh, before I go I'm going to show you what I prefer to do my normal knot which would be a loop knot you're going to bring it on through your jig head Bring it around. We're gonna make one loop. And we're gonna get your second loop. We're gonna bring that second loop to the right. Sorry. We're gonna bring that second loop from the right through the loop on the left. Get a nice little grip. And then this side where you got your jig head you're going to bring it through the top loop that you brought through. Once you get it through, pull. You don't have to put it in your mouth, it's just my specific technique. And what you're going to have there, if you can bring the camera in, is of course you're going to go ahead and cut that extra line there. This isn't the best I'm showing you. But uh, cut this off. And when you're fishing, when you got that loop knot there, what that's going to do is when it's in the water, it's going to allow it to bounce. So when you're bouncing off the water, it's going to imitate a fish, like boom, 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 boom. And then you're going to get a nice big uh, hit. So hold on, tight lines, and uh, have a good day fishing. This is Matt out of Largo, Florida.